a video to show you how to use the new PAMO app. So we're going to go into the app. Now as you can see I already did some testing um, accounts. If you want to delete an account all you have to do is hit edit here and you can hit this hit delete it will ask you are you sure you want to delete the account hit yes and your account has been deleted and you hit done if you don't don't want to delete any more accounts to add an account of course just hit add your account name can be whatever you want it to be um, we'll just type back in test one For the type of account, uh, we'll do a personal account. And for the color code, um, we're just going to choose what kind of account this is going to be. And for this account, we're going to choose uh, check an account. As you can see, red shows up. That's because un under options, check an account is assigned to the color red. You can, however, change the colors to whatever you want it to be under options. So from there, we're going to hit save. And there it is, test one. That's the account that we just entered. If you want to, um, you want to go into this account and to add a new transaction, we're going to hit add. We'll type in the name of this transaction. We can just hit um, new. Now, what's unique about this app is that if you want to take a picture of your product, maybe a check, a receipt, you can do that and you can save it on here. So we're just going to hit this right here and you can actually take a photo from your photo lib library or you can take it from your camera. Um, just to test it out, we're going to do one from the camera. And we'll take a picture of my hand. And we're going to use it. And then we'll enter the amount. Uh, we'll start off with um, $100. Make sure the, the plus is already highlighted. Today's date. Everything else is optional. The first three fields are the only thing that has to be filled out. But these will also help you when you're looking back on your transaction. So for form... This is going to be if you paid in cash, if you paid in credit card, debit card, you paid in check or other. So we're just going to say this deposit was done in cash. If you have a check, you can also enter your check number. For your category, we can choose what category this is in. Um, these categories on here are by default. Under categories, you can actually change the category. You can add, you can delete. It's your option. Um, if not, you don't have to enter a category if you don't want. Information, just any additional information that you would like to add to um, help you if you go back and look on this transaction and you need more information about what you spent, how you spent it, or any other additional information. So once we're done, we'll hit save. And there it is. And you see there's the picture that you have. Now, the great thing about this is Say you lose a receipt and you can't remember how much you paid for a certain item. Now, this happened to be a picture of your receipt. You have to hit this button here. And there's your picture. Now, once you click on that picture, it tells you what account it came out of, if it was a personal checking, the name of your transaction, how much you spent, and the date. Now, this was something that you needed maybe to take for tax purpose or maybe to show proof of a receipt. You can hit this button right here. You can actually email it to yourself or you can save the picture and then print it off. So now, if you lose that receipt, you still have proof of, um, you have a copy of that receipt now. So you don't have to worry about if you lose it and not knowing what was what. You can actually have it saved in your app now and you can print it off. Uh, let's go back. And that... Let me mention that this is not the only way to access your pictures. You can also access your pictures under the tab pictures, which we'll always show you once we go back to the home screen. Um, once a transaction has been cleared from your account, you just tap on it. And as you can see, it shows up as cleared. And 
to show what has been cleared and what has not been cleared, you hit this little button right here. And it shows you what has been cleared and what has not been cleared. As you add more um, more transactions, you can actually rearrange them by date. You can arrange them by amount. Or you can um, arrange them by what's been cleared and what's not been cleared. Um, when you're ready to go back to the home page to either do another account or to do other options, you just hit the home icon right here. Now, the reason for this one on the total page is because if you have various um, accounts, you can actually split them up between your personal accounts and your business accounts. So we're going to hit this button. And now they're separated. So in order, instead of having three or four apps, one for business, one for personal, you can actually have them all in this one app. And not only do you have your total for all your accounts, they're also separate. So you can know how much you have in your personal accounts. You can know how much you have in your business accounts. Now, as I stated earlier, um, you don't always have to go through the actual transaction itself to see your pictures. You can actually just tap on pictures. And there's the picture. And once again, by clicking on it, it shows up once again. The account you took it out of, the name of the transaction, the amount, and the date. And you also have the option, once again, of saving it or mailing to yourself. Um, the other option, which I mentioned, was categories. So these are the categories that you have. This will show you what percentage and amount you spent in each category. Once again, as I mentioned, you can either delete the category that is already here by default, or you can even add your own account that you would like there. This can be maybe the name of a business. This can be um, television. Whatever you want as a category, you can actually add. And it too will also keep up the percentage and the exact amount you spent in this category. Under options, um, these are all the options that you have. As I mentioned, you can change the colors of um, your accounts. You can actually even turn it off. See, now that it is off and I go back to my accounts, there's nothing there. If I turn it on, once again, my checking account was red. Okay, maybe I don't want it red. Maybe I want it to be green. So I hit green. Now all of my checking accounts are green. Um, security code, you can turn this on or off. Of course, the security code is for it. You can only enter the app if you have the four-digit security code. So if you turn it on, it will ask you to enter your unlock code. It has to be four digits, and you can save it. You can actually put your transa transaction orders in ascending or descending order as your choice. And we also have the option for searching. And this is just basically it's showing all the um, tra all the transactions you have in all your accounts. But you can also search by name, or once again you can sort them out by amount, or if they're cleared or unclear. So.